Jesus! Oh, hello! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to Robocraft. Now for you guys that missed the stream, you guys would have missed me building this. I know it's not 100% accurate and there is something that I'm going to need to fix on this, but this is as close as what I possibly could get to an A10 Warthog. <laughs> Because one thing I would say, the A-10 Warthog, I, that plane has always interested me. And it was actually my main in Air Mac. So me building one in this, honestly, isn't all that surprising. But one thing you guys probably noticed, which I'm going to need to fix, the main wings are up way too high. Because according to the reference photos, it's actually supposed to be in line with the bottom of the fuselage. So I'm going to need to... To fix that and my original plan was to go with the t5 chain gun but the thing is that thing is way too big given the profile that i went with now if i must be honest i didn't exactly go for function with this one much like i have with the two megabots i mainly wanted to go for something that's cool and fun to use because one thing I'll say while having something that kicks a lot of ass is fun to use on its own, getting into the more creative side of this game is also really fun too. Alright guys, here we're heading into the first match of today, and this time there's one person maxed out on the blue team, and we have a podium player in here with us. And there's one person maxed out on the red team, but they have one diamond and two podium players in there with them. Let's go. Now... I'm going to be rusty with using a plane because, uh, well, the la I can't really say too rusty because the last time we used a plane was the Marauder 2.2. But the last time I made my own plane, oh god, it was ages ago. And that one actually wasn't completely finished. Because by the time I actually got around to making it, I actually lost interest, so it was never finished. But this one is going to be. Yeah, I was kind of, I was honestly kind of hoping to go for the T5 chain gun because the Warthog has like a seven barrel, uh, a seven barrel gun underneath the cockpit, and so I want to go for the T5 one because even though it, it's six instead of seven, I mean it would still be accurate. Oh god, my whole tail section's gone. I can't break off. Oh, it's just slowly just going down towards the ground. <laughs> it's like I was trying to perform like a control crash or something. Well, like I was just landing under the ground. Oh, you sir are going to be a pain in my ass, aren't you? And of course, I had the uh, Contra as a Canadian flag because, well, Contra is cool and I'm Canadian, damn it. Oops. Okay, reverse. That's something you can't do in a Warthog. It <laughs> just can't just reverse the video. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, get my ass kicked right now. It's not exactly my top priorities. But going out for what I was saying earlier, what is fun going into the more like creator side of this game is also. Mom, it's also good to try and to make something that is flimsy as cardboard. Because sadly, well, this game is Robocraft, not Minecraft. Jesus! Okay, where... Where is that? You're freaking dead. Yeah, of course you got the most kill out of, uh, most kills out of everybody. Freak you! 
Freaking seriously? If I see him, I, I'm, I, I'm breaking up my, uh, my, uh, my Marauder, and I'm tearing these guys to pieces. Okay, seriously. Yeah, it is to be expected. And it's also made entirely out of medium blocks because I didn't want to make the plane too heavy so it wouldn't fly right or to use it too much CPU by using the compact blocks. Eh, not too bad, just under a bar. Oh. Damn. Give me one moment here, guys, and then we'll head straight back into the action. And there we go, I got the wings put down into the proper place and I even put in some compact blocks where the wings attach to a fuselage to give them a little bit more strength. And I also put one up here in the uh, front just so I could max up my CPU. So what do you guys say we bring it out again and have ourselves a bit more fun? Now I can see some people saying that going for the pure aesthetic side of this game is a bit impractical and I will honestly agree on that to a degree. Because like I know there's a lot of like, very competitive people out there even for a game that's old as this. But for me I don't really play this for the competitiveness. I am just here to essentially just say how much fun can I have out of this without smashing my head through a wall. Alright guys, here we're heading into the second match of today, and this time there's three people maxed out on the blue team and there's one podium player in here with us. And there's one person maxed out on the red team and they have one diamond player in there with them. Now I'm not saying that playing competitive, uh, playing competitively is a bad thing, because it's not. As long as you don't ruin the fun for others. But for me, it's always been like I enjoyed this game. I'm just going to essentially just play this for like as much fun as I can have out of it and not take it too seriously. Now I do get frustrated if I lose too many times, but to be fair anyone would, especially getting the losing streak, I'm having it sometimes, Jesus. But yeah, I more or less I'm just here to have fun. And if I can build like do such a stupid things like this and still have fun with it, hey, you got yourself a good game there. He's even dumb fun can be good fun. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, Jesus. You mind? Alright, I gotta go down. Not like that! I hope you guys uh, uh, see what I mean when, what I'm, where I'm coming to on this. Because while it's fun, kicking ass, in a game like this, it's also fun to just goof off. And this is what my third, like, recreation build I got in my whole set. So, and I mean, I got lots of other builds that is way more functional than this, but Hey, this is something I wanted to build, and this is honestly really fun. So you can you can judge my building skills all you want, but don't judge me for having fun. Cause I'm just here to take it easy. Ah, damn it! I was hoping to get the <laughs> I was hoping to get the last kill. And even though we didn't get a lot of kills out of it, hey, this is honestly really fun. Alright guys, let's give it to Kill Machine 4 and a fat Allen. And I know the color scheme from my A10 is not exactly what you call standard. It's literally just something that I threw together during the stream. I'm not even kidding. I was literally, okay, I'm going to go with light blue and I'm going to make the full wheels black and I'm going to run a white strip down the middle. Like that was literally my whole thought process behind that. Ooh. 
Woohoo! Yeah! Now let's see what we did for XP! I'd say weapon, oh Jesus. <laughs> you know what, why not just make this a stupid fun video? Now, I might bring in the Marauder Mark II for a couple of matches, but honestly, I'm just enjoying having some stupid fun with this A10, I'm not gonna lie. Alright guys, here we're heading into the third match of today, and this time there's one person, Max out on the blue team, but there's one Diamond player in here with us. And there's two people, Max out on the red team, and they have a Diamond player in there with them. Let's go! Now, I do know me flying up in the air like this does indeed make me a, um, a, essentially a large target. But, when does a large target look cool as this? Now, I was originally going to put armor on the engines, but they would have been way too big. I want to throw the scale off. Now, originally when I put armor on, on this, I only had one set of engines. And it was going to be too big and stubby, so I removed it. And then I put on an extra pair of engines. Oh! Come on. Please go down before I do. Please go down before I do. Now, I, this doesn't have as much energy as what my Marauder does. Because that thing is able to handle dual uh, T4 chain guns, it doesn't only have one. But, hey, the energy drain is about the same, so I can't complain. You frig off. Yes. Yes. Wow. Oh, shit. I didn't tell you for you to make me fall. Ah, right. hell. What the hell is going on? I somehow got stuck and it just started glitching out. Okay. That's quite an interesting little build. Now I got shields. I should have put some of that on this. And I put on the uh, extra wings there for redundancy. Well, let's say... Uh, Valero gave me that suggestion. I can't take credit for it. Stop, damn you. Freaking you again? Nope, reverse, reverse. Come on. Really? I'm breaking up my llamas and I'm breaking this guy in half. Come on, take him down, take him down. Don't let him, there we go. I was, just, I was literally just going to say, don't let him escape. Now, I do wish I could go for the T5 chain guns. And I did try to install them there when I was modifying this about to find the wings but it will be sticking up almost like right underneath the uh, nose of the plane so literally be sticking out way out of the open more so than what this is freak you you've got to be kidding me yeah this thing isn't exactly the most strongest of Builds. Well, I know for one thing, I'll take these guys out with very little issue. And plus, that's another thing. With me building like stupid builds like this, it also brings a bit more variety. Instead of just having another thing 
that's another brick that can take out more things very little effort you frig off seriously okay stop it's swarm Lennox they're gonna grab the near point first though Certain not a piece get in there Here we go. Okay. I'm just going to head through here. Ah, freaking hell. Yeah. I'm going to bring on my uh, Marauder after this. I have to see why people don't use the medium blocks all that much, except for when they're starting off. They kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I might swap out these blocks for the heavy ones and see how it performs. Because even though that will make it slower, that would definitely give it a lot more health. Also, and also more energy too. Come on. Free fire. Yes. I don't know why I just said yes like that. Oh shit. Sir, not a beast. Try to hold out there, man. Come on. Shit. I'm going, I'm going. Lamos? Let's give these guys uh, uh, something to worry about here. Oh shit. Hey, you don't like me now, do you? Yeah, if you didn't like me before, you'd certainly hate me now. Okay, now let's try to stay out a lot of fire here. I'm actually slowly just descending. Okay, there we go. Now I can fly again. Okay, now I don't want to be going for a second run, but... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit. Yeah, get the frig out of get the hell out of there. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. It's nothing but the warthog. <laughs> Now, one thing, uh, was that just me? <laughs> was that seriously just me? I seen there just flying over and just crashed right into the wall. Oh my God, that shit's hilarious. Oh my God. <laughs> and this is with a warthog. Hello? <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Next stream now, I'm going to retrofit this with nothing but heavy blocks and see how it performs. And if it's too heavy, then I'm going to use a bit of a combination between heavy and medium blocks, just so this thing can actually fly right and also take a punch to the face. Uh, this is what I mean by even though this thing is basically dumb. I'm having a blast with it 
Alright guys, you are heading into the third match of today. And this time there's two people maxed out on the blue team. And there's no one maxed out on the red team. So this is going to be interesting. Off we go. And we go at pretty decent speed too. We go at 290 going straight. Oh, not you again. Not you. Seriously, not you. Uh, I hate you. Jesus! Ah, hell. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. That's not exactly what I want. Help. Help me, goddammit. Where? Don't go say, where are you even going? Uh, yeah. I enjoy specking half the ceiling there, dude. I'm gonna rip her in half. The one thing I would say is a big downside to using a plane. You can't just stop in mid-air. Like, you always have to keep moving. That was dumb. Who the hell is shredding my ass? Or do I have to ask? Oh, it's friggin' you! I guess asking who was sharing my ass was a stupid question. <laughs> How am I still flying? <laughs> oh no, we just what? Okay. Well, I lost my tail section there. Before I died, I couldn't actually correct myself. That time, I thought we just done one wing and I quit. Okay, I can't hit him. I literally cannot hit that guy. Okay. Yeah, this is where the uh, Marauder Mark II would succeed. Because not only is it a ground based vehicle, I can literally stop right on the point and just let loose just a hail of bullets or run. Kids, what the freak did I just see? Savage Renegade, what the hell is that? It's like someone trying to make a make a butt with a stick bug. What the hell? I mean, you can go back and forth, but... Yeah, once you stop dead, you're going straight down to the ground. Well, I hope you enjoy that one there. You know, chicken's a little bit too early there, eh, bub? Out of here. Come on. Drop down. There we go. Oh. What the hell? Someone seems to just take a few pot shots at me. Just, just stop me for repairing myself. Freak you, man. And yeah, I even got the pilot in there. Just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit extra accuracy. So just thing literally like being a transformer and just flying out no cockpit uh, with no pilot in it. Okay. I know for one thing, if these same guys are around when I, when I break out the, uh, if I break out the, uh, well, let's say, yeah, looks like this might actually be the last one today, so. I don't think that's gonna be happening. Crap. Okay. See, see, see how much you guys like this one. Hey, you can frig You can frig off. Seriously? Hey. You're annoying. Come on, somebody epic. Okay, let's go. Come on, move. Freak you.
Jesus! I think that guy's having a bit of fun. He needs to have me kill somebody, he does a thumbs up thing. And I'm certain that's the uh, Ukrainian flag colors here, yeah, stuck on the front. The blue and the yellow. Oh my god, die! Thanks, Skynet! Can you move? God damn it. Eh, we're screwed. Alright. Ugh. There's no point. That's literally just adding insult to injury. Because we were going to lose anyway, and then the melee bot just comes over and says, Hey, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shred you in half. Ooh, it didn't do too bad on XP. Now let's check weapon power. Ooh, not bad, not bad. But that's gonna do it for this time, guys. So eliminate the like button if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, ring a bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Who knew making a build like this would honestly be fun? I honestly didn't. Because this was just going to be... I want to build this thing as accurate as I possibly could. And then just roll with it. Yeah, this is way more fun than what I originally thought it would be. And it actually performed a lot better than what I thought it would too. Well, I suppose you know what they say. You never know until you try.